ഈ കോവിഡ് കാലത്ത് രോഗങ്ങൾ അകറ്റൂ ആരോഗ്യം സംരക്ഷിക്കൂ ടി ആർ എസ് എസ് വാട്ടർ ടാങ്ക്സ് ലീവ് അപ് യുവർ ക്ലാസ് യുവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് മൂവി You know, I'm uh, Kerala and Malayalis have been a savior for me from the time I started this career uh, of mine. I've had them, I mean, I lived with Malayalis all my life, but uh, when my first film happened with Madi Sir, my shoot happened at Kerala. The first song happened in Kerala. And from that day in, uh, itself, everybody used to think, because my name is Madhavan, that I'm a Malayali. And then they, saw, they thought that Kavya Madhavan was my wife. So, uh, it is, uh, but they always showed the utmost respect and love for me. I have uh, I've been so touched by, by the entire attitude of Malayalis, not only in Kerala, but I live in Dubai right now. Even there, I am Madam Jetta to them all. Madi Jetta is what they call me. So, I am eternally, eternally indebted to everything that Kerala and Malayalis have contributed to my life. They've always been lucky for me. My first film was shot here as an actor and my first film as a director has been done as a pradeo among all the people in the world and all the people i've worked with it has to be another malayali family the moolans so um, I, i think it's a very lucky sign for me can you justify like eliminating that major part in this film i don't think uh, you are right ma'am the major part is not about his uh, struggle against the system okay his biggest achievements do you know why he got the padma bhushan See, that's what I'm saying. You don't know why he got the Padma Bhushan. That's why I made the film. That's his... That's, no, ma'am, I just want to tell you that that is the major part of his life. One incident is the case and it lasted long and it ruined him. But that is not what Dr. Nambi Narayan is about. His achievements... Now, let me tell you what I mean by his achievements, okay? Why is his achievement so important? The... The reason that Dr. Nambi Narayan needs to be celebrated is because he made an engine called the Vikas engine. Do you know that? Okay, so do you know what the beauty of the Vikas engine is? Okay. The Vikas engine is a liquid fuel engine and he's considered the, you know, the founder of the liquid fuel. And because of that liquid fuel engine, every mission in ISRO, you know, the missions might have failed or the satellite must have failed, but the rocket engine has never failed. It has a record of never failing. in all the launches from the time it was uh, instated till now about 75 or 78 launches which is a world record by itself it's unbelievable it's a self relying self rectifying engine and no other person has been able to do it in fact it was used in the mangalyaan and the mangal mission to the mission to mars all the other countries that became successful they used three types of engines the solid fuel the liquid fuel and the cryogenic all three are required to travel for a satellite to travel for one year to go to Mars. India was supposed to get the crash engine and because of this case they couldn't get it. So they used Nambi Narayan's Vikas engine and the solid fuel engine, only these two engines to become successful to go to Mars. And become, that, that is the reason this achievement is so spectacular. If this achievement was there in any other country, he, he would have been celebrated like nobody's business. I mean, the Russians sent a dog to space and they have a you know a, a plaque for it you know a statue for it road named after the dog but we have we have su- such successful stories and such amazing stories in isro and we're not able to celebrate that so that is another major part of dr nambi narayan's life now whenever i go and talk and talk about all this you now people say why are you spending so much money on sending rockets to space when people are hungry and people are dying even should we not put the budget into that but i think they don't know that everything from arthroscopic surgery to aspirin to internet to road safety to textiles that save babies to fire resistant clothing all these technologies are a derivative of space travel and, and research it's because of this research that we are able to keep human beings alive from 60 to 90 now medicines that take care of everything from diabetes to uh, dementia and they're all a uh, derivative of what has been uh, uh, done in terms of research for space and that has that's how it's helped humanity so much and in the in the years to come and much faster than you think space is going to become a real uh, a, a part of everybody's life your children's life my child's life because t- space travel is a reality you know finding 
minerals that are in uh, meteors which are around the earth, elements that are, don't exist on earth that can possibly save lives and save people's diseases, all that is a real possibility. So you have to be right up there. You know, the earlier kings who had control over the land, they were the rulers, they were the most powerful. Then the people who had control over the seas, that generation of people started controlling the earth. And then the people who had control over the skies, they started ruling the earth and becoming the most powerful country. But now it's space. And people who have control over space, the ability to travel there, and it is going to be in yours in my lifetime. When they have the control to travel that, that is country will be the most powerful country. And India is able to do that at much faster pace and, and a lower cost because of people like Nambi Narayanan. That's why he's a hero. So let's not make it shallow by saying case, case, case. It's a small part of his life. When he, right now, he's been, he's been proved innocent. He's got, but even now he's saying India, India, let's go make another engine. Let's go make, make this travel possible. India is the best place to launch rockets from because we have 30% more efficiency when you launch rockets from India than from any other part of the world. That is the fight that everybody is fighting. He's moved on. I think we should also move on and make sure that we appreciate somebody like this. Yeah, that's the whole reason we put our money where our mouth is. And I'm, you know, I wish when you, it's very unfortunate. If you had met him, you'll understand what a charming man he is. He's handsome. You know, what is the problem with Dr. Nambi Narayanan? The problem with him is what is the problem with all good boys in school? You know, in, a, in you go to classroom in a, in a school, there's always a good boy. You know what the good boy does? He comes to school on time. His, his clothes are always ironed. He always does his homework. He's a teacher's pet. He'll sit in the front and answer all the questions. He'll make you feel bad because he's so getting such good marks. And your parents tell you, be like him or her. And when you get a chance to meet him, you want to slap him because you want to say, yeah, bloody hell. Why are you so right? You must be something wrong with you. And the moment he slips up once, the entire class pounds on him just because you want to feel as good because he's also not perfect. Right? You want to use that one opportunity to make sure you are at par with him. And unfortunately, that attitude happens when we go on to society also. How can Dr. Nambi Narayanan, being such a good-looking man, uh, you know, and a genius and spectacular, you know, have you seen his picture when he's young? No? Have you any, anybody seen Dr. Nambi Narayanan's picture in Princeton? You have seen, okay? I'm going to turn the lights off and I'm going to show you. You know what the problem was? They said, how can this man not have an affair? And I want you to imagine a good-looking man. Dr. Nambi Narayanan is very good looking. In fact, he's better looking than John F. Kennedy. He's better. I'm saying now you build up your expectation. You think, oh, Maddie is lying. He's an idiot. Or there is a possibility that he can be better looking than John F. Kennedy. So I want to show you Dr. Nambi Narayanan in Princeton, New Jersey. And you tell me whether he's good looking and better looking than John F. Kennedy or not. When I went to France, when I went to Russia, Georgia, and they said, oh, Dr. Nambi Narayanan, come, come. You can shoot wherever you want. They allowed us to go and shoot in their, in their space facility in France and Russia and other places because of the love and respect they have for Dr. Dr. Nambi Narayan. I think we should show him that kind of love. Any other questions? Coordinator. Co-director. He was a co-director, yeah. Prajeshan sir, sir is extremely creative. And uh, he was there during the shoot and, uh, uh, and his contribution was extraordinary because I have not directed anything before. So uh, I used to go to him and his creative... He's, he's, I mean, as an artist, he's extraordinary. And the kind of solutions that he gave for uh, our creative designs was brilliant. You know, and I'm very happy. Not just him, my entire team from Murli to Prakash to uh, my, uh, you know, I had a lot of people from Kerala who had come, uh, Nandan, who was my uh, AD. All their contribution, without whom this film is impossible. They are there, uh, and especially all the, uh, the, the people who came from Kerala who were in love with Dr. Nambi Narayan including Vijit, my editor, uh, my, uh, my, direct, my, my designer for the posters is Anup. All of them are Malayalis and they are God sent. Today, if this film is getting any appreciation anywhere, it's only because of the contribution of this team that has stuck by me even through COVID. People have worked without salary through the COVID two years. You know, the people who are like, uh, Rajesh sir was busy shooting his films. He had a lot of films to shoot and he was very busy. But the rest of the people, they just, they had, they just stuck with me. You know, and it was very touching to see the uh, affection he has. And Rajesh sir, uh, Prajish sir is the reason that uh, this film started because he has done an extraordinary interview with Dr. Nambi Narayan, which I saw. That interview is the reason 
I did the film. Bengali cinema like one another. How we became part of this? Uh, like we have been friends. One day, some night dinner, I mean, very late, late night dinner, I mean, two o'clock, three o'clock, I mean, or some friends are like mad, I mean, like all the room, Bombay, like food, I mean, boy, food, I mean, boy, I mean, like casually, I mean, mad, I mean, or some dream project, I mean, like that, I mean, like scientists, I mean, party, I mean, like no, I mean, but the rest of the details, I mean, like that, 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 I അപ്പോഴാണ് മാഡി പറയുന്നത് നമുക്ക് നാരൻ മലയാളിയാണ് അറിയോ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചത് ഏത് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആ ഒരു സമയത്താണ് അപ്പോൾ ആ പേര് ഞാൻ എവിടെയോ കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്നല്ലാതെ എനിക്കും വളരെ അധികം കൂടുതൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് അറിയില്ല അത് എൻ എനിക്ക് തന്നെ ഭയങ്കര ഇൻസൾട്ടായിട്ട് തോന്നിയൊരു കാര്യമാണ് അതിന് ശേഷം കാരണം ഞാൻ പഠിച്ച് വളർന്ന വിദേശത്താണെങ്കിലും അത് ഞാനൊരു എക്സ്ക്യൂസായിട്ട് ഞാൻ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നില്ല കാരണം നമ്പി നാരായണ പോലുള്ള ആളെ പറ്റി എല്ലാവരും അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കേണ്ടതായിരുന്നു എന്നിട്ടത് എനിക്കറിയില്ല എന്നുള്ളത് എനിക്ക് തന്നെ വലിയൊരു കുറവായിട്ടാണ് എനിക്കത് ഫീൽ ചെയ്തത് അപ്പോൾ എന്തോ ഒരു കഥയാണെന്ന് എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ അത് ഇപ്പോൾ ബാക്കി കൂടുതൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് എൻ്റെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിൻ്റെ അടുത്ത് ചോദിച്ച് മനസ്സിലാക്കി പിറ്റ് ദിവസം രാവിലെ ഞാൻ തിരിച്ച് നാട്ടിലേക്ക് പോരുവാണ് അപ്പോൾ എയർപോർട്ടിൽ വെച്ച് ഞാൻ മാഡിനെ വിളിച്ച് പറയും ഞാൻ പോവുകയാണെന്ന് പറയാനായിട്ട് വിളിച്ചപ്പോൾ മാഡി എടുത്ത് ചോദിച്ചു മാഡി ഈ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഹൂസ് മോൺ ടു ദ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഐ യു മോൺ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹൂസ് ദ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസർ അപ്പോൾ മാഡി പറഞ്ഞു ഐ എം ഡൂയിങ് ഇറ്റ് മൈ സെൽഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് മൈ ഡ്രീം പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ഞാൻ ഒറ്റയ്ക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് വേറെ ആരെങ്കിലും വന്നാൽ ശരിയാവില്ല എനിക്കത് ഒത്തിരി ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് ഫ്രീഡം വേണം ഇത് ഞാൻ ഒറ്റയ്ക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നു അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ മാഡി എടുത്ത് പറഞ്ഞു ഞങ്ങളും കൂടി കൂടിക്കോട്ടെ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു മാഡി പറഞ്ഞു നിങ്ങളാണിപ്പോൾ പറയാം നമുക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് ചെയ്യാം കുഴപ്പമില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ നേരെ ഫ്ലൈറ്റ് കൊച്ചിയിൽ ലാൻഡ് ചെയ്തു ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ ഡാഡിയുടെ അടുത്ത് പറഞ്ഞു ഡാഡി മാഡിയുടെ അടുത്ത പ്രോജക്റ്റ് നമ്പി നാരായണനെ പറ്റിയാണ് ആ പേര് കേൾക്കലും ഡാഡിയുടെ മൊത്ത റിയാക്ഷൻ ഞാൻ നന്നായിട്ട് ഓർക്കുന്നുണ്ട് നമ്പി നാരായണനെ പറ്റിയാണ് മാഡിയുടെ അടുത്ത പ്രോജക്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു യെസ് അപ്പോഴത്തേക്കും ഞാനും ഏകദേശം റിസർച്ച് ചെയ്ത് എനിക്കും ഏകദേശം കഥ മനസ്സിലായി മാഡി പറഞ്ഞു അങ്ങനെയാണെങ്കിൽ യെസ് മാഡിന് ഇപ്പോൾ തന്നെ വിളിച്ച് പറ ഇഫ് ഈസ് ഓക്കെ വി വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു പാർട്ട്ണർ അപ്പോൾ തന്നെ മാഡിനെ കോൾ ചെയ്തു Maddy said, please come, let's discuss. We reached Mumbai. At that time, we had no script. We had no actors. We were planning to make the movie in just Hindi. It was just a Bollywood movie. Without any of that, the only two reasons why we said yes to this was because it was by Maddy. It was a dream project by Maddy. And it was based on Nambi, sir. Those are the only two reasons we did this movie. And those two reasons still remain, which is why we have been able to withhold the movie and give all the support all the dedication for this movie all this while because we know the dedication that maddy has put to in this movie and we cannot let all that effort go away so we were very sure that this has to be a theatrical experience so we were very happy to wait for two years we said let's wait here a project that the partner land and we did the first first discussion that the last year our version can you know we did the English meant a lot of it ഇത്രയും വരെ ചെയ്തതിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങൾ വി ആർ ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഹാപ്പി ഹാപ്പി പീപ്പിൾ ഹാപ്പിയസ്റ്റ് പീപ്പിൾ ആ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തതിലും ഈ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് മിസ്റ്റർ മാഡിയുടെ കൂടെ നിന്നതിലും ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ അഭിമാനവും ചാരിതാർത്ഥ്യവും സന്തോഷവും ഞങ്ങൾക്കുണ്ട് ഈ കോവിഡ് കാലത്ത് രോഗങ്ങൾ അകറ്റു ആരോഗ്യം സംരക്ഷിക്കൂ ടി ആർ എസ് എസ് വാട്ടർ ടാങ്ക്സ് ലീവ് ക്ലാസ്